Welcome to the Kunafa High School Red Zone. This is your favorite anchor, William Roush. It's almost Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? At CRHS, students have the unique opportunity to explore the biomedical sciences and engineering career fields through courses offered in our Center for Biomedical Sciences and Engineering program. Join our virtual information sessions on November 30th at 1 p.m. or December 1st at 6 p.m. to learn more about the program. More information can be found at ahschools.us slash CRHS B-I-O-E-N-G. The intervention team will be offering lunch intervention in a virtual format Tuesday through Friday during distance learning. The intervention specialist will be available between 11.15 a.m. and 1 p.m. to provide any student with additional academic support. Students who are interested in participating should email either Mrs. Jenrich or Mr. Mutter and Schultz so they can provide the student with the link to access the Google Meet. Starting November 12th, Virtual Quiet Study Time and Writing Center are here to meet all of your online tutoring needs. If you have any questions or would like to fill out a form requesting a time slot, please contact Andrew Smith. The Anoka County Library is now offering student hours for all ages to come into the library during regularly closed hours to complete schoolwork, use computers, and find resources at the library. A reminder that the school counselors, social worker, and college and career specialists will continue delivering academic, personal, social, and college career services and programming to students and families remotely. November is Native American Heritage Month. There will be a virtual video series with various speakers join Anoka Hennepin Indian Educators Education as they host Memagwesi Haven Sutherland as a guest speaker on November 26th or check out the fall plant walk video with Elder Nudenensky Hope Flanagan. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to Karen Sherga on her retirement. The Colonels will miss you and your big heart greatly. We are looking for some awesome students who would like to be a part of the boys basketball program as a manager. This season, if you are interested, please reach out to Coach Slim Schillensog or Coach Youngberg. Change to Chill is here to help raise awareness about mental health issues. They will provide resources and advice each week and are always available through email if you ever need anything. Remember, it is okay to struggle with your mental health. Please reach out to stephanie.nelson at ahschools.us if you need anything. The CRHS library will be open for a book checkout Monday on Mondays from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. during distance learning. Come on in. Our 2021 yearbooks are on sale now. Go to www.justins.com to buy your 2020-2021 yearbook today. Hey juniors, want to earn a college degree? Looking for free support and personalized coaching? Applications are open for the college possible high school class of 2022. Food and gift card donations are needed for the Cardinal Food Shelf and so are donations for the Cardinal Compassion Fund. Scholarship season usually starts for seniors in December, January. However, there are a few you could apply for now. Check them out in Navians. Have a great day, Cardinals. Enjoy Cardinal Pride and the Noble and the Mustang Pride. And if you have any comments, write your comments down under YouTube.
stick. Uh, the three things you need, of course, the main one is a stick, and then your tape, and then your scissors for cutting the tape. Uh, to start off, most people usually start from right here and then up. I only start about halfway. Uh, what you gotta do is get this tape, unravel it, and put it to where you want it. Uh, see how there's no tape over here? First, you want what you want to do. So you want to go all the way over and then cross it so you can't see it no more and on the front side you want to make sure you overlap the tape so it doesn't have any gaps or bubbles and then you just want to go from there you want to line it up and then keep doing it and after a while you get good at it and you can go pretty fast. But the most important thing is you make sure you have no black or whatever color your stick is showing when you tape it. Because otherwise it'd be all gappy and messed up. You wanna make sure the tape's tight when you do it too, so there's no air bubbles and it gives you like giant like knots in the stick or in tape. You just wanna keep going. Keep going. And then, right where you get it to where you like it, you're gonna take the tape, like this, hold it, take the scissors, you cut right where you want it, and then you fold this over, and then cut all the other excess tape on my blade. Make sure you like pinch it too, so you can get everything on it. Most people take the blade, I don't. I prefer really not. And then, what else you can do is you can take wax and say this is the wax and you just go up and down with your stick and it gives you like more, you can control the puck more with the wax. The final Friday night of the regular season for the Coon Rapids Cardinals take, took them to Park Center to take on the Windless Pirates. It was a great chance for the Cardinals to get their first win of 2020. They've dominated the Pirates historically and hadn't lost to Park Center in at least a de decade. An impressive outing from their young running back made sure that streak would, be, would not be broken. Defense dictated the early going on this one, but the Cardinals take advantage of a short field after a bad punt midway through the first. David Ghibli getting to the end zone for a seven yard score, just the start of a monster night for him. An interception gave the Pirates a short field late in the quarter. They cash in as well. Desmond Scott right up the middle for a three yard score. Game tied at six after the first. Cardinals go 65 yards on six plays on their next possession. Five of the plays runs by David Ghibli, caps it with an explosive 17-yard touchdown. Two-point conversion, not good, 12-6 cards. Pirates answer quickly with a big play, second and 11 from their 33. Michael Hoban airs it out to the right. Austin Iodomadelli behind the defense, hauls it in, hustles to the house, 67-yard score. Cardinals offense rolling again. Ghibli is the engine, just showing off the speed and shiftiness on this play, making people miss everywhere. 28 yards on this carry. Gets the cards into the red zone, but they face a fourth and 13 from the 20. Jordan Doe lays this one in beautifully for Sonny Tao between two Pirates. He makes the grab and the score. Cardinals back in front 2012 midway through the second. Pirates able to respond again. Long drive deep into the Cardinals end. Fourth and two from the nine. Hoban rolling right. Floats it to Amir Madian at the back of the end zone. Their point, two-point try failed, so it's 2018 at the half. Coon Rapids stretches the lead in the third. Diving catch by Darius Eulen puts them up by two scores. And then a big, bad punt block recovered in the end zone by Ethan Tedro. Gives the Cardinals a touchdown, and all of a sudden they're up 36-18. Another touchdown for David Ghibli. Had to spin his way in. He had 227 yards and three scores against Park Center. Cardinals get one more score late in the game, fourth and two, just trying to get the first down and kill the clock. But Nathan Cavanaugh somehow able to spin away from four would-be tacklers, and he sprints 45 yards for the score. His first of the season secures the 48-18 win.
Hi, and welcome back to Nick's Quick Movie Review. So, a movie I saw last weekend was the movie Jojo Rabbit, which is the story about a young uh, German nationalist boy who finds out that a Jew is living in his attic, and he starts to question his beliefs and if he should be supporting the German fight after all. Um, it is directed by Taika Waititi and also stars him, as well as Scarlett Johansson as the mother of the titular character Jojo. Um, and, and it is a very hilarious movie. I laughed so much during it, um, mainly because of how it, the, uh, it displays these horrific events in a 10 year old's mind. Taika Waititi plays literal Hitler um, in, as a role and he literally says things all the time that you would think a 10 year old would say to himself. Like he literally tells the little boy to go do horrific things and then says, you're 10 years old, start acting like it. And the balance between those things is a very good balance, but it never makes those heavy things seem lighter than they actually are. Um, it's it, they really go deep into the horrors of what happened during then, and it is really heartbreaking what happens later on in the movie. Um, but it feels like it perfectly balances these elements to make it a very entertaining, hilarious, and very serious and heartbreaking movie all at the same time. I genuinely recommend you to watch it, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Hey guys, so today I've decided to show you how to make French toast. So the ingredients I will be using are milk, bread, eggs, and cinnamon. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bowl and my two eggs and I'm just going to crack the two eggs and put them into the bowl. So with the two eggs in the bowl, I'm going to mix them up a little bit. After I mix the eggs, I'm going to just take the milk. I don't really do measurements to be honest. So I'm just going to do like a little bit of milk and then I'll take the cinnamon and again I don't do measurements so I'll just shake as much as I think it needs and then I'll mix again. Also side note while I'm mixing the eggs and the milk and the cinnamon I have the pan on the stove heating up getting ready for when I'm going to cook the bread with the mixture on it. Okay, so when the pan is heated up, I will take a piece of bread and I will just put it in the egg mixture. I should probably roll my sleeves up. And then I will just take it. I'll pick it up and I will set it in the pan for it to cook. Okay, so with it cooking on the stove, you just want to keep an eye out for when you think it's ready to flip. So right now I think it's ready to flip. And you kind of want it to look like that. You don't want it to still look like it's wet from the eggs and milk. So I'll let it cook on this side for a little bit. So this is what the finished French toast looks like. And usually I put like butter and syrup on them, but I mean, you could put whatever you want, any fruits, whipped cream, or jams maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's all your preference, but yeah, that's how I make my French toast. I am Allison Staples, I'm in ninth grade. I attend Coon Rapids High School. I've lived in Minnesota my whole life. I am creative, outgoing, and full of laughter. I am passionate about orchestra, theater, and art. I hope to graduate at the top of my class. My dream job is to be a voice actress. My name is Allison and I am Cardinal Nation.